Hey everyone, my name is Jesse Frank and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I paint one of my polymer clay sculptures to look like antique stone. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. So <clears throat> what I do is I start out with uh, titanium white. Uh, this is a titanium white that I got from Utrecht. Uh, it's their Artist Color Acrylic Series 1, the heavy body, uh, the heavy bodied one. And uh, for putting down the, the initial coat on this, you want a, a fairly heavy bodied uh, paint. You don't want to water it down too much because it does kind of beat up a little bit on it when you're, uh, uh, when you're putting it on there. And so um, getting it in there fairly well, but um, fortunately uh, on the base coat, you really don't have to be incredibly um, good about uh, getting it in all the cracks and crevices because what we're gonna do later is we're gonna go over it um, with some burnt umber and uh, that's where we'll really get into the cracks and crevices and, and make it look antique. So for this you just want to you want a pretty good coating over the whole thing and um, and uh, and and that'll that'll do things good enough. You can you can see, or at least you could have seen earlier, um, how dark some of the the clay got from baking it, and that's just because I mean it's a it's a big, thick, pretty heavy piece, and uh, it's got some thinner pieces on it, um, and and that takes takes a while to bake it. Um, now, uh, what I do with this is I I baked it. You eventually have to get it up to 275, um, which is nice because that's not super hot. But uh, what I like to do with these is I'll step everything up, you know, at 200, then 250, um, and then go up to 275. And I'll, I'll do another quick video about that later. So now we're in there with the burnt umber. So put it on kind of thick. Um, this actually uh, is a little bit thinner than the white, but I still, once you get the base coat on there you can dilute the um, the the antiquing layer a, a lot more because it'll stick to the to that to that base layer a lot better it's kind of like being prime it's kind of like priming it so you uh, paint it on make sure and, and get it in all the cracks and uh, that's one of the things you know you thin it out and that that'll help with getting it in the cracks and then you take a paper towel or something like that and just wipe off the highlights um, you you can do it this way. I do it two ways, uh, two major ways. One is this way where I'll wipe off the highlights first and then go back and dry brush it, which you'll see later. And then uh, sometimes I, I'll just do uh, a base coat or I'll just do a base coat of burnt umber and not bother with the white and then dry brush over that. And I, I personally don't like the way that looks as much, but... Um, but so, some people seem to, so uh, I do some like that, just not not quite as many. Um, so yeah, you can see I'm I'm doing a lot better job of getting it in the cracks and crevices and whatnot than uh, than I did on the other one, or with the with the white base coat. And uh, got to make sure and really really do a good job with that especially uh, on this these ones that have kind of a lot of detail uh, and undercuts that sort of thing you really got to get in there and make sure you you get everything good so um, yeah make sure and get the whole thing the base too otherwise it just doesn't look finished people will pick it up and they'll go Ugh, and set it back down so um, here, uh, I'm just, you got to pick it up and look at it from every different angle you can because I, I, you guarantee you're going to, you're going to miss some. So you're going to have to go back over it three, four, five, six times sometimes, um, while you're, while you're painting it. And you can't wait too long before you, before you wipe it off or else it'll look really splotchy. And a little splotchy is good because we're going to go in, what I'm doing here is I'm dry brushing. So, uh, take more of that titanium white, um, get it on the brush. Uh, wipe it off. Um, you, you want to use a pretty soft brush for this, or at least I do. And then you just brush it on. You don't go hard. You just um, just hit the highlights real lightly. 
and um, and that gives it a lot of depth and uh, it, it gives it a lot of depth without a lot of effort um, it, the main thing you've got to be careful about is is just uh, wipe it off just enough um, just enough uh, paint off off the brush to where you don't have any thick streaks or chunks on it or anything like that because that'll uh, that'll create issues um, and which isn't the end of the world because you just you, you can take your thumb or something like that and just you know just wipe it down and uh, and that that works that works pretty good um, now I will admit I do like to have a little bit of splotchiness with the burnt, burnt under if I could say that with the uh, burnt umber the antiquing layer um, because to me it makes it look a little bit more natural and uh, that's got it So that's it. Not much to it. I like these kind of things where you get maximum effect for minimal effort, and that's what we've got going with this. So um, that's it for this week. Uh, I, I hope you liked it. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. You can check me out on Instagram and uh, Tumblr as well. And that's got it for this week. Thanks again for watching, and never stop creating.